Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to prepare our uh, model window for the edit option. So, you know, when you click on the edit, it should open a model window and it should populate the data so that we can uh, update new data. So, here is how it is going to work. So far, we have one model. If I click on the new, here is the new the model window for the new. I'm not going to use another model window for editing. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this one reusable. First of all, when I click on the new, it should not be by default it should be empty it is going to display you know the admin that i have already set here i can remove it from here it will not show up there but the thing is for some people like it 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 is going to save a lot of time when you save the password something like that so what i'm going to do is when someone click on this i just want to reset, reset this form this is basically what we are going to do first so that next time if i wanted to edit something if i click on this one we need to populate the, this, this data that is how it is going to work so let's start if i come here all the way up you know for the edit uh, for the creating a new you know when you click on the this button it is going to launch the model window for us so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a function for this one i just remove this and then i say add and then if someone click on me just call a function open model i know it is open model so what i'm going to do is uh, give it a better name we say new model something like this so what this is going to do is this is going to open the new model the thing is as i said in the previous video if you do not experience something you will not know what is wrong so feel free to experience it like if you put the function call like this and you do not pass any parameter it is going to give you an error so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to uh, because I'm not passing any parameter to the function I'm not writing it so if you feel like something is wrong with your application make sure your function is not having the brackets something like that so I save it for now and we create this function new model all the way down here you know I mostly write them all the way up here it does not matter where you write it just call the function and then comma oops comma here what this is going to do is this is going to show the model that we want so how you are going to show you know there was something it used to hide at the model window here is how it going to do this one you, you say uh, our uh, model window name is new and the model and then it's just going to call the function of model and it is going to hide after it create the post so I will use the same here instead of the height I will just say show the thing is when I say show it is going to display the model before I show it I can reset the form that's why I just put it on the button so that we can click and then we can do anything we want with the form so let's see if it is still working if I refresh the page okay now if I click on this one yeah it is still showing but it did not reset the form so we can reset the form how you reset this one if i come here and say this dot form dot reset let's see if it works save it uh, okay you know why i put the reset because the reset is already in the v form which we used if i come all the way up there here is the reset function which reset the form the field of the form this time if i refresh it yeah if you want more explanation this is just the function you can call for the form you can clear it ah this is what we want oops it is uh, going to clear the errors those this is going to use uh, this is going to be like the, the one we want this is going to reset the four fields so this time if i click on the new yeah it's fine it is not showing anything this time it is clear and we can start uh, creating like a fresh new form so this is how it is going to work if you still don't know uh, how it is going to work if you inspect element going to the view here and opening the user you know we have a form object here it is going to have all this data when i call it this dot form dot reset i mean this form yeah this form can be reset like you can just say that there is no value for this one it will set all the uh, fill data to the empty so this is fine for this one and now we, can, we will create another model here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to press ctrl shift d 
it will duplicate it for me maybe it is different for you so feel free to change your keyboard shortcut and the setting so this is going to be edit model this is going to be edit model and this time what it is going to do is it is going to accept uh, like a user data you know it is going to show the model it first of all it reset it and then it show it something like that so let's see if it is going to work and this function we call this function when someone click on the edit so if I come all the way up there here is the edit so I will just say at click if someone click on me then we call the function and this time because we pass a parameter we open the bracket now I say I'm going to send the user which is this user you know user and user which uh, which come in loop so I'm going to send the whole user so that I can take the data and populate it in the form this is the, the, this much basic so if I save it this time and let's come here refresh the page and see if it works so far let's see and of course there are so many things to learn if I click on the edit yeah it is using the same model window except for the fact uh, the title is, is still new and plus it is written create it should be like update and plus the form type all of those stuff okay we will do them uh, still we are using the same form but we should tweak it a, a little so that we can change it so let us first of all let us see how we can fill the new data like if someone click on the edit it should populate the data of the current user like suite should be in suite and then all the information here so let's see how you can do this one first of all we reset the form and then we open the model window fine and then we can fill it you know here is the function that say fill and you pass the data it will automatically fill it so let's see how it works if we say this dot form dot fill and what we pass inside the function the function parameter here the user you know when we call the function we pass the value of, um, of the current user and the current user will be populated for the fill if I save it this time let's see how it is going to work refresh the page and let's see yeah if I click on this oh yeah it is working it is getting the name it is displaying the suite and it is displaying the biography Ivan you know this one the user type uh, for the password of course it is not showing because we do not see the password so here is how easy it is to use the same model window but you know in different like in different place plus you can just change the model of course this title is easy you can tweak it a little the most important part is the button and where it is going to submit the form that is what we are going to do in the next video so i hope it has been informative for you if you have any question feel free to ask below the video of course there are so many other things you should learn and i will keep doing after we finish the edit from here we will jump to the profile once we finish the profile we will focus on the user type how you can make it like limited control for user different type of user so i hope it has been informative for you again uh, if you have any question again you can ask below the video and feel free to comment below the video and they will like share your idea about this tutorial i know most of you guys just supporting me by saying good and positive words the thing is like i just want to try to make more videos the thing is when i come from work all i i want to do is to record video but someday um, maybe there is not an opportunity to record a video so i am really sorry for those days but i try my best to record videos so that's it for today and see you in the next video